Guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. If you make that simple mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on parts and repairs, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Make sure to stay until the end. We'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having Chrysler 300 this generation here from year 2014 to year 2024. If you need to find where the climatronic fuses, the climatronic relays are located, you have two relays that you need to check in two different fuse boxes. We will explain where you can find them, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, please make sure it's done till the end. So guys, before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, that way we can keep making these free videos. We show you how to fix engines, transmission, bodywork, fuses, relays, all that stuff, guys. And if you need to buy cheap parts and tools at a good price, quick shipping, we'll put a link in the description of the video below. Guys, check out our YouTube channels. We have more than 50 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So the Climatronic relays, where you can expect to find them, we need to check two of them in two different fuse boxes. Now guys, a uh, quick reminder, most people that own that generation Chrysler 300 have uh, no idea where all their fuse boxes are located. That's why we made a special video for you guys. Conveniently check it out on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on Chrysler 300. But what we need to do first, open the hood. And when you open the hood, when you face the engine on the left side here, that's the passenger side, you have a fuse box. Press these two tabs guys on that fuse box, open that cover and you're going to find the fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. Here guys, we need to check one relay in that fuse box, then we need to go to a different one and check one more, please make sure you stand till the end. We want to share one good advice with you, that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. If we zoom in, coming on this side guys, that's relay 40. 41, 42, 43. Relay 43 is the one that you will guys need to check. Then you need to open the trunk. In the trunk, there's a carpet liner here. Lift it up on the back side. Behind, underneath it, you guys have a spare tire and the car battery. Behind the car battery, you have a fuse box. Okay, that's a better angle. That's the car battery here, spare tire, fuse box. Press that tab here. Open the cover and you have that layout here. The other relay that we need to check guys is known as relay 71 and we're talking about this relay right here. That's the relay that you will need to check as well on Chrysler 300. So guys, that generation Chrysler 300 has all kinds of different size of fuses guys. You can see different fuses, relays, uh, that's the engine fuse box, that's the trunk fuse box. Those could be really hard to find some of them guys. And if you're in the middle of nowhere, you need a replacement, you cannot get one, you may be stuck guys. So we will recommend to buy some, put in the glove box uh, for peace of mind, keep some spare ones. Uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Hopefully the video was helpful guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time.